Hey guys, welcome to another All Base Creations Effects Tutorials, Demos, and Review. Today, we're going to be going over some of the um, base synth settings I use for my when I just take my Zoom B6, right? So, of course, you guys know I have a huge pedal board. I use that plus my Zoom B6. But sometimes when I'm on smaller gigs, I'm not trying to take two, three thousand dollars worth of pedals. So, um, I like to have some simps available on my Zoom B6, which I can just take that and my bass and roll out. And if whatever backline they got, you know, if I need to run rigs, I can run rigs. If I need to run simps, I can run simps. I can do everything from my Zoom B6. So, here we go. Here's my bass dry. At least this is the tone I'm going with. Um... For most of the settings, for the synth stuff, it's more of a mid-tone range. So, as you can see, it's not a lot of bottom there um right off the bat but that's because some of the first settings i'm using are octaverse um octave down and that's going to help me get a lot of that synth tone so we're going to start with my boss oc3 simulation i have on here so <laughs> you can add a little booty now with this particular setting let's get into it i hate when it does that uh i wish they do an update to fix that zoom thank you appreciate you but so first things up we have an analog a base analog octave down and so as you can see i have the octave down on 65 everything on zero from there let me turn some of this other stuff off boop 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 everything off need the no i don't so. So as you can see, it, it tracks pretty well. You know, it tracks, it, it does track pretty well. Um, you just got to play cleanly, you know, make sure you're doing proper string muting, things like that. Um, and of course, where you play your EQ of your bass, things like that have a real effect on um, the sound of it. So, you know, 
playing further on the neck is going to give you more booty. Playing towards the bridge is going to give you more of the mid range in there, you know. So, just depends on your sound preference, but that's my setting for that. Then I have a Z-Tron on there, which is an electroharmonics um, envelope filter emulation. Those are my settings for that. This is a little bit of that. So it even glitches like a, a OC3 in mono mode or OC2 in mono mode, you know. So I like it a lot. Um, that Octaver, but you had the Citron, it adds a little bit more to it. Then got this vibe on the vibe on here. Here's the settings for that. Gives you a nice vibrato sound. Get you in that Yannick um Gors dollar territory. So as you can see, it's a very nice sound there. And as you can see, I, sip, I skipped over this RC boost, which is a like a distortion overdrive type thing. But it adds a little bit of grit to the sound when I need it, you know, just to give me a variation with the sound since, you know, I can use this like a pedal board and switch things on and off as I need them. So, gives you a nice grit to it, just a little bit, a little bit of something. And, of course, I have a volume pedal, but you guys don't really need to hear a volume pedal. It just, literally, you can add swells. Or decrescendos.
So, you know, volume pedal. And then I have this send on here for when I want to split the sound to go to my amps. When I'm using just the Zoom B6, I might be using my amp models, my full rigs, or just my um, IRs to go to the system. So I have all these set up with a send as well, just so um, it's in line with the rest of my patches as I'm switching through all my gig patches. I'm not worried if it has a send on it or not um, going to my amp, you know, during the show. So these are my how I set that up with my send. And so um, I just run an XLR to the PA or the wherever they, you know, the house. And I run my quarter inch to my amp from the send on the Zoom B6. That way it separates them. Just for how I have other patches set up um, where I'm only using the preamp from the Zoom B6. And that's going to my amp. But then the IR that's coming after that is only going to the PA. And the send is what divides that for me. So this is that setting, you know, all together. You know, very close to an OC2, OC3, OC5, OC4. You know, all those, you know, whatever. I don't know why I always skip over OC4. Nobody really bought that one, I guess. <laughs> you know. But moving on, we have my kind of, you know, like Moog simp setting. Of course, on the Zoom B6, you also have things like the DI type. So the DI types affect the sound, you know, as well. So, you know, I have a 2 1, 2 2, solid state 1, solid state 2. So let's hear 2 1 with this. Tube 2. Solid state one. And solid state two. Without any of them. And while we're on that, just a tip. Um, some people are confused why the effects bypass has two different settings. So one bypasses all the effects, but still leaves the DI on. So you can literally bypass all these effects and still have the DI affecting your sound. So if I press it once, I still have the DI type on. So that was all four of them. But if you press it again, it bypasses everything, even the DI types. So it's a very, it's, it, some people don't understand why that switch is. They think it's redundant. It's not. Um, the reason you have to press it twice is because you, you bypass just the effects when you press it once and you still have the DI type 